Welcome back guys, the original money duplication glitch with the Dropbox is finally back and working in patch 2.0 for Cyberpunk 2077 and Phantom Liberty. And you can also even use this to get infinite amounts of components. I will show you all the needed inputs for Xbox, Playstation and PC. It's working on every platform, everybody can do it and you will get millions within seconds. The process of doing this is actually very similar like before, you have to go to a Dropbox where you can duplicate all your junk items. But CDP has done a lot since patch 1.6 to prevent us doing this. So there are a lot of things you really have to know to do it correctly and not to fall into any trap where you might lose your money because it can go wrong if you don't know how to do it and it also could stop working and you couldn't get it working again if you don't know how to do that properly. So I will guide you step by step through the whole process including all the potential errors you can make when doing this and how to fix them. So make sure you watch the whole video to get this working for you too. This works on every platform for everyone if you just do it correctly. Before you actually attempt to do the new duplication glitch I really advise you to put all your trash in your stash in your apartment because you will actually need it later. If you don't store them in your stash you will lose them during your first selling attempt and you will need other items to continue doing the duplication glitch. The glitch will stop working when you exit the machine with that specific item you picked. So it is really important to have some backup items which you can use to continue doing this glitch. Only grab one item you want to duplicate where you have a decent stash off and go to the Dropbox with it. There's also another reason why it will not work when you keep all your trash with you. Because the Dropbox cannot afford to buy all your trash. So if you still have high stacks of items that are worth millions, the Dropbox cannot afford to buy all your items and the duplication will not work. Make sure you put everything just in your stash and go with one item with a small stack to your Dropbox. No matter if you try this with a Dropbox or at a vendor, you also have to make sure that you are in the junk tab. Because the whole process will only work when you are in the junk tab. When you arrive with your small stack of items at the Dropbox, you then have to check the bottom of the screen inside of the Dropbox. There is a tooltip for a sell all junk button. This button will be used additionally for this method. Now we have to do some difficult inputs, so listen carefully. Before we start, you have to place your cursor on the item stack. When you're trying to sell this, you have to hold down your sell all junk button. So on Xbox and Playstation, hold down your right thumbstick and on PC, hold down the G key. Now you also have to hold down the regular sell button. The regular sell button is the A button on Xbox, the X button on Playstation and your left click on PC. So on PC, you have to hold down left click on your stack. And if you do that on consoles, you also have to make sure that your cursor is still placed on your stack. Additionally to holding these two buttons, you also have to press the confirm button now. On Xbox, the confirm button is the X key. On PlayStation, press square. On PC, press F. So on PC, you hold G, hold left click and press F. On Xbox, you hold down the right stick, hold down A and press X. On PlayStation, hold the right stick, hold down X and press square. It is also important that your cursor is still on the item stack. So on PC you hold down your mouse on the item stack anyway and on consoles you have to make sure that you put your cursor again back on the item stack when you do this input. Now you will see the selling menu with the slider appear and you can release all the buttons you have just pressed or hold. You can release everything. In step 2 we only adjust the number of items we want to sell because this is really important. Set the slider all the way to maximum but then reduce the amount by 1. If you have 100 you sell 99, if you have 1000 you sell 999. So this method will only work for stackable junk items with a minimum stack of 2. But by creating millions of items you will simply get infinite money from them. Now you only have to confirm the sell and then you will immediately see the sell all junk menu appear. The volume of the junk is only displayed as one item, but don't worry, it will just duplicate your entire stack if you confirm it. Just press confirm and now on the right side you should see the double amount of items than before. Make sure that the items on the right side are in the buyback tab, because when they are in the buyback tab you can simply get them back for free. You won't have to pay for anything, you will just double up your items and the machine only gets back its original money. So you basically increase your money by increasing your items on your side, but you won't have to pay for them. Now you simply buy back all the items from the buyback tab, which will cost you no money. The machine will only get back its original money, so you don't lose anything, but you will double up your items. Now you simply duplicate your stack of items again and again until you reach the limit of the machine. 
The game will tell you that the machine has not enough money to buy your item, that is when you reach the limit. Now you can just sell all your items except for a few and exit the machine. Now just wait for 24 hours to refill the dropbox money. But you can no longer use the same item and immediately do it again, because if you now attempt it again, your item will be put into the regular buy tab, which is very dangerous. So go to your stash, grab a different junk stack and do that with a different junk stack on the same machine. Of course you can also just simply switch the machine to solve this problem. If you exit the machine in the meantime, or if you did something wrong, the items might end up in the regular buy tab. You definitely have to avoid buying them from the regular tab, because that way you have to pay the regular price for all of them. So that is really dangerous, don't buy them back from the regular tab, always use the buyback tab. This method should only work in one way, from you towards the machine or vendor, and you cannot really do it backwards anyway, but just in case you attempt it and find a way, never duplicate backwards, only duplicate from you to the vendor or machine, never duplicate it backwards, because that way you will lose money. So you just have to buy back the whole stack of items and then you can just rinse and repeat until your stack is so big that you can just sell them all at once to get the entire money out of the machine. This method can also be used to get infinite amounts of components, because you can simply dismantle all your millions of junk items to get millions of common components. And these millions of common components can then be crafted to the next higher rarity of components, so we'll get a lot of uncommon components out of it. And then we just simply craft the next tier, the rare components and then the epic components and we end up with a ton of legendary components at our hands with absolute zero effort. So you can really abuse this not only for money, but also for infinite crafting materials of any sort. So even if the drop boxes in patch 2.0 have significantly more money and it is now much easier to convert everything back to money, I would rather create big stacks of junk items and then decide whether I need more components or more money. And more money is actually not needed at all, since you can simply pay every vendor with your junk, or at least get your money back after you purchase something, then just sell all the junk to get the money back. So if you just duplicate your junk items, you will store the value in these items forever and you can use them and decide whenever you want to use them what you want to do with them. And if you want to create even bigger stacks, you can also just temporarily lend the vendor your money by simply buying something, so you can create even bigger stacks with more junk, more money, more components, more everything. The stack size is only limited to what the vendor can afford to buy from you. I hope this video was really helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.